My name is Marcus. My name is Connor. This, this is, is our, our story. story. Rumba by the TV. What's a rumba? November the 5th, 2038. 9.58 a.m. I can only dream. <laughs> Look at this place. My dreams are to one day even be able to stay in a place like this temporarily. <laughs> temporarily. He's not wearing the usual stuff. Thank you, NoyaQC. Thank you very much for the four months. Welcome back to the Cyborg Army. I really appreciate that support. You are awesome. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's go into the kitchen, shall we? What have I got to do? What are my main tasks? Uh, take care of Carl. Wait, Carl upstairs. And if I ever did have a place like this, man, the, uh, the stream ideas that I have um for virtual reality and just everything in general take the tray to the dining table take care of Carl wake up why do I want to take it to the dining table Adita thank you so much wait how do I put this down I can't take it to- oh, there it is, on that bit, okay. On that bit. Adita, thank you for the eight months, I really appreciate that! Thank you! <laughs> if you like pina coladas, getting caught in the rain. If you're in- not into yoga. If you have half a brain. If you like making love at midnight. In the dunes of the Cape. I'm the one- I'm the love that you lo looked for. Write to me and escape. We all know that. We all know that song. That was the comment for his resub. Thank you very much, Adita. I appreciate that. We have got um, the text-to-speech off today just so it doesn't talk over any dialogue in the game. But I very much appreciate the eight months. Thank you and welcome back. Okay. So, I mean, you've put, the, put it down on the table, but nobody's here. Screen line cast. Screen line cast? Not a... So instead of a fish tank, you've got a virtual one. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dokkali. Man, this frickin' house! It's like the Lara Croft mansion. Checkmate in three moves for silver. Is it? Oh god, it's been too long since I played chess and I don't know which pieces are what in this. spin because who doesn't do that when they go past the globe i think everyone just goes Wee. let's see how well the spins oh wow that one is a good spinner you know that that's what you think when you go past one <laughs> hello mr giraffe how are you today well i see very well it's good to see good to know where else can i go in this room there's something over there can I play the piano? Oh, I can play. Ooh, a door opened. Ooh! Okay, hang on, let me play. I'm gonna play the piano. That's the theme tune. I don't know if you guys understood, but that is actually the theme tune. Oh, 
Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, wow. This is a really good idea. A glass room on the side of the house with shade, but the curtains draw back. Again, if I ever get a house. No, I'm noting this down. I'm noting these details down. Sorry to throw out the reference to my hometown. That's all right, you don't have to apologize for that. It's in Gross Ponnet. Is there actually a house that looks like this? I don't know if there's anything else I can, oh, hang on, there's something under that. What's under that? Oh, we got to clean up. Okay. Cleaning up. There was stuff on the living room table. Okay, I'll have a look. That's the paint that he ordered. Put it right there. the great thing about somebody like this who would clean up for you is when you ask them where did you move that when you cleaned up they wouldn't go uh i don't know uh they'd be like yes i moved it to this place i haven't lost your stuff one thing i hate about people moving my stuff is that when you go where did you did you see that thing uh, i had it on the table oh yeah i cleaned up there i can't remember where i put it now it should be maybe it's over here and it's like no no it's not no snot no it's snot snot i love how it sounds like snot hey divine okay north pole why russia wants it detroit today life found on titan evidence of alien life grows we do, which we do this one the darwin probe which left exactly 19 years ago to prove the surface of titan's methane ice has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface in the ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice after similar micro mi i can't say that name Ugh, i'm gonna get tongue-tied matter was found on Enceladus, Enceladus, another satellite of Saturn, it seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. No more than microorganisms though, like do you know what I mean, that's all we've found so far, like just in general that is all we've found. We haven't, uh, we haven't branched out for, far enough yet. A NASA spokesman responded to the story as stated, sorry, sorry, uh, responded to this story as stated, the latest in the series of pointers to life on other planets. Our android expedition to Io is one among many such voyage voyages um, that carry a prime objective of uncovering extraterrestrial life forms. Jason Graff, director of humanization at Cyberlife, said the company was committed to its partnership with NASA. NASA. Our space firing androids, oh they're sending androids out there, are specifically designed to function on long range missions of this kind and we are proud to have our models at the frontier of human exploration. They're sending androids out for that as well. Hey you know. comes out tomorrow this is very correct i have it a day early and i am so excited because this community is literally the cyborg army you do not understand it's literally the cyborg army why are they licking each other <laughs> i think they're mating okay uh how is it so far oh i'm only at the start but it's absolutely amazing i like this guy's home i think i'd be feeling like if i had a if I had a house like this, in my dreams, if I had a house like this, I'd totally be filling it with loads of, like, historical stuff and a library and, like, hundreds of books. 
Ooh, ooh, curtains. Okay, hang on. Let me just find out if there's anything else I can do first. I don't want to skip anything. There's something over there. There's so much, uh, there's too much stuff for my liking. I, I understand what you mean. Like, um, a lot of people like that sort of simplistic, not too much furniture sort of thing. The same. And I would go for the same kind of look. So there would be less of stuff. But it would be filled with a ton of books and historical stuff. Where the hell? There's got to be more stuff up here. Maybe it's in that room. Okay. What can we do in here? Draw curtains. That's the first thing. Can't really see anything else. Let's draw the curtains first. Looks like he's bed bound. There's a wheelchair over there. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Thank you, Kesla, for the three months. I really appreciate that. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Kesla? Welcome back to the Cyborg Army. Enjoy that three month sub badge. And I really appreciate the continued support. Thank you. Thank you so much. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I like him. to the bathroom now. Oh. You have to constantly hold it. To maybe not drop him. Okay, okay. Cyborg needs an android to act as her memory. I do. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. Lol, we have evolved. We have. We have. Are we ready to continue? Let's continue. Let us continue. Hold R2 to consult your objectives. Okay, take care of uh, Carl. Carl woke up. Take care. Take Carl to the dining table. Wait, how can I take him down the stairs? Uh, Carl, please don't roll him down the stairs. Please don't roll. Oh, whoosh. Okay, all right. He's got one of those machines. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, also, I need to turn off one more thing.
There we go. Still weird. <laughs> and this is gonna be a bumpy ride. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's a fast stair lift. I know. I'm surprised you didn't go flying off. Take, taking. It actually sounds like the chair is partially automated, or not automated, but electronic. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, it must make it easier to, uh, to push. Is this door open? What's this? This is... that's the kitchen. This is the, um, dining room. I'm starving. I bet you well, are. Your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank Bacon you. and eggs? Bacon and freaking eggs! Thank you, Ratchet. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the host. That's a really tiny piece of bacon. Television. <laughs> Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Breakfast served. Okay, there's two things I can go to. Wait, no, three. There's something on the table, but I've already read that. So we're on the brink of war with Russia. No difference there. <laughs> you can assume something like that would happen in the future. Some books. We can read. Or we can play the piano. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. I like Carl. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. I can imagine this being like me when I'm in my 50s and androids actually exist, and that's, uh, that's Raptor sitting over there. Talking all, all smart, like wise old man that he became. I don't want to play chess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the piano. Actually, I can play chess, but I'm gonna play the piano first. Booty, booty! Awesome to see you. Find something else? No. Yeah, no, we'll do. Beauty of music. Hopeful. Go for hope. What do I have to... stopped again I don't know oh wow is he registering what's he doing but even Carl's finished his breakfast and come to you by the end of it there we go oh there we go Butchering this. <laughs> this is 
me trying to learn the song. Thank you for the 100 bits. I like it, but I can't do it right. Piano Hero, oh my god, please let there be one. I would totally play it. Yeah, I would totally play it. Sorry, I've got an itchy ear. I feel like my hair's tickling me. No. <laughs> Stop, stop it. Stop. Stop tickling. Right. Okay, ready? done with the piano. Alright. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Wise words for anyone. I think that applies to all of us. Just on lunch in my new job. Can't stay long, but I wanted to say hello. Oh, good luck on your new job. I'm so proud of you, Cup of Copy. Congrats on it, and I hope it goes well. I know you can't stay long, but I appreciate you popping by. Can I do anything else here? Okay, yeah, take him to the studio, that's all. Fuck this dickhead. This guy has a dead giraffe. How do you know it's dead? I wouldn't have a dead giraffe in my my house. I'm totally against that. I don't think it's dead. I think, judging by what he said and how he is at the moment. Let's see where we left off. Sorry. Remove the sheet. I don't think it is. In studio. It was like, there's not a lot to clean. I cleaned earlier. Oh, there's one more thing over there. One more thing over there. Cheeseburg water. <laughs> oh no, don't! <laughs> I don't mean to. There was a big dead cat on the piano. There wasn't a- there, there could have been like his pets that died and he wanted to preserve them forever because he couldn't live without them. I've heard of that actually. Um, I don't know if I could actually do it myself, but I don't think he would have wanted a, a hunted down and dead giraffe for no reason in his house. But I completely understand where you're coming from and the anger, if it was real, takes. I can't even stand people who wear, wear like real fur. Nah. Real flat fur clothes. So. Hey, away days. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. 
Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Okay. Give it a try. Try painting. <laughs> Hi, the advocate. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. I like this old man. Find a subject to paint. Uh, paint desk. Paint the statue. Paint Carl's painting. I'm gonna go for the. I'm gonna go for Carl's painting and see if I can paint what he did. Or shall I try and do something different? If I paint Carl's painting, it shows that I have, as an android, no real choices of my own. I'm following what he does and I'm, I'm painting what I feel like he thinks should be painted rather than choosing myself. Yes, takes like you said, mimic. To mimic someone is not to be creative. To copy someone, the best form of flattery for that person, but it's not to be creative and what might work for someone may not work for you. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for the desk. Because again, the statue is a, a form of someone else's art. The desk I can probably do. How does that even work? That way? That way. That is a perfect copy. But it's no different. Reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. The eye when I do. Well, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. He's right, but we're, even when I do art, when I draw, I draw from something. But I usually put lots of Close things your together. Eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Identity and doubts. Resume. 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 Oh my god. Did you see what he painted? Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, 
It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. <laughs> no, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I do know the why. Bits. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. I know, right, Jolly? Restraint needed. I, um... That's what you get, <laughs> in my opinion. That's what you get if you, you grow up thinking you're just 